voice message. Yes, this is Eugene Baker on behalf of Demar J. That is my nephew. Any type of way to contact me, give me a call at this particular number. But any time after 4 o'clock, make contact with me. Demar J. My nephew. I've been a private investigator 22 years. I happen to specialize in background investigations on people, so I have a, a unique ability to find people that uh, are otherwise unfindable. This was a family that had been in California for years um, until Demange was about five and mom decided to, to come to Missouri. Um, and at that point she decided she couldn't care for him any longer. So she drove him to an area residential facility and dropped him off. Um, and unfortunately for Damage, um, he stayed in residential for several years because of his behaviors. They tried a couple of different times to put him into a foster home setting, um, and he just couldn't maintain in a home-like setting. And so he would um, fairly quickly go right back into residential. So he's been in residential settings for the last several, several years. Well, we had periodic telephone calls from his mother, and um, she never actually told us Damage's location, uh, we know that she didn't have custody of him anymore. There was some talk of uh, some relatives living in uh, the Chicago area and uh, California, specifically Los Angeles. Uh, I was able to ascertain that uh, the young boy had a, an uncle by the name of Eugene that lived in uh, California, a very common last name. Uh, it took me probably a good couple of months to search through several hundred people with the same last name. It was John Acklin who contacted me and he showed me a picture of Demarge and I showed it to my daughter and the rest of my family. And we knew right then and there Demarge needed to come home. Uh, we felt he was lost. Um, as John was able to find Eugene um, and make that contact and Eugene contacted him back, I was kind of that first person to help make a phone call of telling him what we were, what we were doing and how it was that we were trying to help Damage out the best um, so that we could maybe make a family connection. It's a very sad occasion when Damage departed from our lives. We miss him. I know I do. During Damage's prime years, I felt as his father. I would take Damage everywhere he had to go. I would uh, we go to parks, um, we shopping. Uh, Damage was a part of my life, a very vital part of my life. I was in shock and awe. When I seen Damage's face, it saddened me. I was saddened. Um, but knowing that he was in someone's hands, as articulate as he is, I knew that he wasn't so much lost. And the most important thing is that he finally gets to be reconnected with his family. Um, after spending years away from his family, away from everybody that he knows, um, and being in a residential care facility, even though those are great facilities and there are some people who care very much about those kids that are there, it's not home. And so the best thing for Damage is that he finally gets to be reconnected with somebody that he lovingly calls Uncle Buzz. I lived in California where I was born and I lived here in Chicago. I rather just live with my f real family because I have to move from foster care to foster care to foster care over and over again. And it's starting to get old. It was really sad because I didn't want to come from California away from my uncle. Oh yeah. His name was Uncle Eugene. We used to have a lot of fun. We used to ride bikes. I was trying to call him today, but he didn't answer because he, he's way in California and he's supposed to be coming to visit me. I mean, he has always been my little man. And just to see Damage, I think, just anticipate seeing him is exciting. Uh, it's a situation where he was lost and 
I found him and I found his family. And we're working to get him reunited again. I am. Let him go. He's coming. All right. My little man. Yay. Come here, Demar J. Who are you? My uncle? Here I am. It was great. I was very happy that I was able to make this connection, and I prayed and hoped that we could get these people together, and uh, it's happened. Extreme Recruitment is an intensive, um, focused effort to work diligently, quickly, efficiently to try to find uh, relatives or kin for children who are in foster care who have no options for permanency identified. You know, Jackson County has over 1,200 kids in foster care. Um, some of those kids are already placed with relatives. This program, Extreme Recruitment, is needed for those kids so that we can really dive into some of those family uh, geneograms and try to figure out who they are, where they came from, and can we get them connected back to where they belong. Everybody has to have a family. Everybody needs to know who their family is. And when somebody that has not had their family for many years or has never known them and then suddenly realizes they have a family out there that cares for them and loves them, the whole picture becomes something that is just phenomenal. It's, it's the greatest feeling in the world to do something like that. And we're hoping that anyone that watches this video will recognize that Dimaje represents every kid, that Dimaje represents all of the children who are waiting for forever families in the Kansas City area and beyond, and that that will touch people's hearts and, and actually call them, draw them to do something, to reach out to make a difference. We all have weaknesses, which is not important. It's how we respond from our weaknesses that's important. Uh, compassion is one of the main factors. I mean, compassion for the weakness of others. Demarje seems to be a strength, and I know he will strengthen our family as a whole. I think it's very important. I think it has to do with a family and whole, as far as love and respect, especially for other people. I find Demarje vitally important far as our family's health because he does bring in uh, uh, inspiration and action to our family. Uh, without Demaje, we all seem to be lost. He's not the only one. We are without him and he's without us. And it's gonna take a unity to bring everything back into his perspective.